How are you all? We are all well, thank you, Tim. Something wrong with that mirror. That's because you're good. <laughs> Tell the taskmaster you love him in the most meaningful way. You've got half an hour and your time starts now. It's not telling, is it, love? It's showing. Actions speak louder than words, as we know. Could I do something um, and sort of transpose one thought into an action and ask you to take his place for it and then tell him how it felt? Mm -hmm. And then you can decide whether it's meaningful, love, or it isn't. Absolutely. Great. Stop the clock. I've got a good idea. What I need is a cake around this size. I need confectioner's custard. And then I'm going to ask you to take yourself somewhere private and put your bare ass into it. <laughs> now, are we clear what you're up to here? OK, I'm ready. I hope you enjoy this. It might be the only time in your life you put your bare ass in a cake. But I'll let you get on with it. All right. You all right? I'm all right. Trousers are down. Good. Right, here we go. You ready? Yes. Ooh. Oh, in. Oh. Enjoy it for a bit longer. I think I've had enough. Oh. Yeah. What did that feel like? It felt like nothing I'd ever felt before. It was so in me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, for the rest of the week. Yeah, it really, it really was. Well. <laughs> your plan was to show your love for me vicariously through my mm. assistant. And? Well, if that was love, it turns out I've not been in love before. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend it. I recommend it too. Yeah. There I recommend you go. doing it once. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be the right sort of chair, though, because the because of the angle of the squatting. I was open. <laughs> there were fewer profiteroles there than there were at the start. <laughs> so, In greedy bottoms. <laughs> wow, that is love. Have a stand on the um, compass. Oh, compass, yeah. I can't see a task thing. Brilliant. Yeah. I thought we were going to turn. <laughs> Make the most striking water feature. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Ah! Could you hold these? Yeah. Crown? How's it going to come out of both? Well, this is what I'm trying to work out, Alex. Just putting this in for detail. OK. Am I doing the right thing? Yeah, it's sexy. Yeah, that's going to happen, mate. Strap in, you're a mermaid. So, here's how it's going to go. You're going to spray some water out your mouth when I give it to you, and then you're going to sing... Oh! OK. Go. Oh! Perfect. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Come on. Yes. Cheers, mate. Ben? I mean, I mean, we barely need to discuss it. It's one of the most triumphant things I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful merman. <laughs> Just one boob, one boob spray. We were trying for a while to get two boobs going, weren't we? You Alex? were trying for a while. I was trying for a while. We decided that. Uh, you I decided. decided. I decided. <laughs> I decided it was preferable to have a strong jet from one rather than a dribble from both. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I like it so far. <laughs> wow.
lot of pie. <laughs> Before I even open the envelope, I'm not happy with this, but anyway, here we go. Identify the contents of these pies. You may touch the pies. But you may not breach their pastry. What? It's impossible. <laughs> what about if you taste it and based on your reaction, I decide what pie you're eating? I haven't broken the rules. Should we give it a go? Yes. That looks like it's way better than you thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go with the uh, steak. It smells nice. I think you'll enjoy that one. Do you? Mm. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's got kidney in it, doesn't it? Through your face, show me how you'd feel if you have to eat the whole lot of that pie. Oh, Jesus, this is kidney pie. <laughs> That's a help. That feels like it's um, beef pie. And then I can try to unscrew it? Yeah, unscrew it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that makes me think it's not a nice time pie. Milk, milk pie? <laughs> I think I'm going to go with a milk pie. Did you, uh, you enjoy, the, enjoy the pies? It wasn't a nice time pie. <laughs> Uh, which I think is uh, a possible new catchphrase to replace whole lot of pie <laughs> is uh, nice time pie. <laughs> Have a seat. <clears throat> <sighs> Tie yourself up as securely as possible. <laughs> Where'd you get off all this stuff? I'm just doing what I'm told. Is it sexual? Slowest to be released by Alex wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Ha ha ha. Okay. Alex, would you uh, would you sit there, please? <laughs> Seven minutes to go, Rod. Yeah, but that's okay. It's quite tight. It's quite tight. Yeah. It's fine. As long as you can breathe, that should be fine. Have we done this before? Yeah. How's that? Quite tight. Yeah, that's tight. So it's some tight. What's that noise? Uh, that's the siren. Is it just a local noise? No. What siren? What siren is that? You had to do something when the siren sounded. Yes, yeah, two tasks on the go now, yeah. isn't there? This is the problem, isn't it? <laughs> right, just lie on the ground, wasn't it? OK, I've stopped the clock for that task now. You've completed that one. The boiler suit. That's done. OK. Now I'm going to untie you in 1 minute 55 seconds. OK. Got the hand in there. And the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> 40 seconds. Four. Oh, I don't know how long is that. I'm going to count. There's 30, yeah, 35 so there's seconds. 31, 32, hang on a minute then. I'm blowing my whistle. OK, yeah, blow your whistle now. OK, I'm coming to untie you. Yeah, I'm tied up. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a hot drink. I'll... I'm coming. You're coming for me, are you? Yep. <laughs> I'm coming. I'll tell you any second now. Do you want something for lunch? This, please. What would you like? Something sharp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get you.
have a go at me and shout and scream and no, uh, accuse genius. me of cheating. That was, was fucking genius. kick-ass. Right, that is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> genius. Yeah. 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 Oh, we'd love to hate that. Yeah. We'd love to hate that, but that was fucking was great. Yeah. <laughs> Make the most exotic sandwich. You have ten minutes to plan your exotic sandwich. Then ten minutes to construct it. Your time starts now. Well, I thought about an exotic sandwich, and then I thought about how I could put a spin on that, so I thought maybe an exotic dance sandwich. So I'll have to attach <laughs> some bread to you <laughs> and get you to do a tiny exotic dance. <laughs> sort of in my head. <laughs> Is that going to work? Let go? <laughs> ah, sort of. This is going to be a perfect sandwich. It's more like a bread collage, really, when you think about it. You look exotic, I would say. I'm just going to get into position, look through my bready peephole, get ready to get turned on. Cue music. This is for you. Oh, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your exotic sandwich. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. <laughs> How are you going to do this? You know, your time stops now. OK. okay. <laughs> the nibble off the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to eat the whole thing, do I? Have a bit from the other side. I've had a lot of the bread and not much of the filling. <laughs> How am I going to do this? I don't know. It's your idea. My <laughs> beard sandwich. Stop the clock. That's OK. Your beard's unbelievable. It seems like passion fruit. Not ginger, <laughs> lavender and pot noodles mixed together. Those are all good. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Well, that was exotic, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> I, I think I've literally never been further out of my comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally walked in on my nan in the bath once, <laughs> and that's the least erotic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Make the best meal for the taskmaster. Uh, using ingredients beginning with every letter of the alphabet. You have a total of two hours. Your time starts now. What I want to cook is rabbit and white wine sauce. What I'm going to cook is rabbit and red wine and tequila and umbongo. <laughs> this is going to be good. I wish I'd got some pasta. Oh, God. I'm now making pasta. Oh, God! Dog food. Ravioli. I'm going to throw up. Pheasant. Very gamey. That tastes nice. Really? Hmm. So I can see um, oh. the letters. We've got the D for the dog food, Q for quince. There's obviously K for kettle chips in the pasta, as well as A for raw bran, C for cheese spread. Not easy. <laughs> it's not meant to be easy. So I've done it. I've done it. Isn't a very nice thing to say. The pasta was the problem. If anything, it was very thick and um, hairy. You can see the hairs in it. I don't know what the hairs are from. I have a little bit of the drink. So it's some bongo fizzy ice cubes. 
yop and tequila. <laughs> Basically, it's Malibu. That's lovely. OK, so the pie now. And that's either rabbit or zebra. That's less good, that one. That one didn't taste nice. If somebody served this to you, you would, you would not remain in contact with them. I've served it to you. And so it ends. <laughs> oh, my God, that... I mean, the thing that was impressive about Frank's was the aesthetics of the meal, so it'd be lovely to if we could see if, uh, if Tim's nailed that as well, if we could have a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> there was grapefruit in every course. Um, you called it... <laughs> do you remember the whole meal? You called the meal citric faeces. That, that was the title. <laughs> Am I right in thinking that every course was a main course? It was like it was very medieval, but then it had umbongo and all brown. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you've got to admire my ambition. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!